Yeah, I got nothing. Uh, you just want pizza? Yeah, sure. All right. Pizza? Oh man, I'm freaking starving. It's hot. What are you working on? Just trying to come up with this week's video. What's it about? Just some camera movements you can do in any editing software that you want to do. What do you have so far? If you're just starting off your filmmaking career and all you have is a tripod, a couple friends, and just a camera, but your shots are just really just static and boring, and you want to add some motions to your shots, you came to the right place. I'll be showing you guys three easy movements that you can do in any editing software, but I will be using DaVinci Resolve, so let's get straight into it. Oh, that was a good one. How did you do that? Shh, shh, shh. I think I got it. So the first move that I want to show you guys is a zoom in effect. As you guys can see right here, my friend Jaden is just looking at the camera a little confused and it's a pretty boring shot. So to get the zoom effect, simply just go to the transforming tab and you will see these little guys right here. These are your keyframes. These will be your best friends in these three techniques. Simply click your keyframe right there and that's where you're going to start. It's going to be the same static shot, but if you move your timeline ahead and you want to zoom in, so move your timeline and zoom in and your keyframe should be automatically selected and how far you zoom in is going to be the effect for you zoom in right there and it's that simple to do a zoom in effect in a static shot if you don't have a slider you can simply fake a slider shot so we have another clip of here of Jaden all alone and if you want to go from left to right so once you're in your transform tab you see these position keys so pretty much if you move them along you can see it goes from left to right so if you're shooting 4k just zoom a little bit if you can so click the keyframe on the left side and then just slowly move it to the right side and boom you should be golden with a fake slider shot. But make sure to use this movement really slow because sometimes it looks like it's computing generated. So just do small movements slightly. So now moving on to a fun one. So if you're doing a comedic video or you want to do something really suspenseful, the trick that I'm going to show you guys is the Inception effect. You guys probably seen it, heard about it, seen the movie, done everything about this movie. So simply, here's another clip of Jaden. I don't know where these clips are coming from, but we start off using the zoom effect. So if you guys remember how to do that, click your keyframes. Set your direction of how you want it to. And then after that, we set keyframes back to the original spot or where you want to start the inception effect. And then after you set your keyframes for the zoom effect, you go back to the rotational angle. Pretty much wherever you want the rotation to start, click it there, click the keyframe there, and then go to the end where you want the whole thing to be turning around and end it there with another keyframe. And we get this pretty awesome effect. So I hope you guys like this new way of doing tutorials. We're going to try to do a lot more skits and then show you guys how we did some effects. So yeah, if you guys did like the setup, just hit the like button. It'll help us out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is something pretty awesome that I'm working on. So I'll see you guys next time. See ya.